Hi, uh, my name is Nihal Singh and today I am going to give you the demonstration on e-filing management system. So before I give you demonstration, I'll, if you want to log in into the admin panel of e-code management system, first you need to enter your user ID. The user ID is admin. After that, please enter the password. The password the password is remain same, it's admin T M I N. And after that, please click on the but sign in button. When you click on the sign in button, you will get into the admin panel. It will taking some time. All right. This is our admin panel. After when you logged in into the admin panel, this is the screen which will appear after the login. And these all are the admin panel, admin panel panels. All right. These are all the panels which are which you can see in the admin panel. If you want to login into the clerk panel you just need to click on the clerk image and you will get a login screen of clerk clerk panel here you need to enter your user id and password and when you click into the sign in button you will get into the clerk panel which is called receiving registrar all right you can also call it receiving registrar all right so by this, if you want to log in into the registrar panel, just click on this button. If you want to log in into the scrutiny panel, just click on this button. If you want to log in into the cashier panel, please click on this button. So as it is, all the panels are given here. All right. And uh, if you want to check your case status for example like i'll give you the little uh, little example small example of uh, this panel first of all when a petitioner apply for a case the case will come here into the clerk panel clerk clerk will apply for your case from their end after that clerk take all the documents from the petitioner and submit it to the to the registrar panel registrar panel check all the details of the of the uh, case and after that it send it to the cashier panel cashier panel collect the court fee and after that it send it to the indexer panel indexer index all the case files and send it to the registrar panel after the registrar after that registrar check all the documents index documents then it is sent to the chief judge chief judge decide which uh, judge is free who has uh, low number of cases then it send it to the court judge court judge has assigned all the all the dates on which date the case hearing would be all right so after the after, after the final judgment after the final judgment case send it to the court registrar and from court registrar to stenographer and from stenographer to bailiff and bailiff to case keeper and after the case keeper the course uh, the case will go to the library panel or go into the appeal section library section you can say that all the cases all the cases are uh, keep in keep into the library we can keep all the files into the library so this is the uh, this is the library where we can see all the cases till now and appeal section if a petitioner does not happy with the result of the case they can apply into the next stage or next court so this is the appeal section so this is the little summary of uh, this is the little summary of our e-filing management system how a case will transfer from one stage to another stage and from another stage to next level right so this is the little summary and after that you can view your case here uh, for example like uh, first 
panel is the receiving registrar panel and when you click on into the receiving registrar panel you can see here the old file cases for petitioner uh, it is 10 now all right today file cases for petitioner zero it means that today uh, there is no case filed on today date all right and uh, another is uh, total running cases for petitioner how many cases are running for the petitioner there are only four cases all right if you want to check that cases uh, you can just uh, click on the number the given number if there is no case it is zero if there is case it might be 10 or 4 all right so if you want to check the cases like uh, i would like to check the old five cases for petitioner so i'll click on the I'll click on the number and uh, after that I can view the all 10 cases, uh, uh, all 10, all the cases, alright. So this is the data I can see and if I want, if I would like to uh, take the whole detail of the whole uh, detail of the, this, this case then I'll, I'll need to click on this button. <coughs> When I click on this button, I can see, I can view all the details of the, all the details of the case. For example, like basic detail. So here in the basic detail, I can see the complaint, num ne complaint number, the type of accused, it is individual, name of the accused, it is Monique Jan, address is Batinda and age is I'm sorry, it is uh, it is a demo example, so that is why it is 100 year, All right? And uh, when you click on this tab, this is the lower court details, All right? And if you want to see the uh, IP ID details, you can click on this button. There is no any detail right now. And after that, if you want to attach anything. All right. If you attached anything like uh, if you have uh, affidavit or uh, license card or a judgment uh, notice or judgment hearing or someone or anything, any it, uh, the document would be uh, any kind of right. So you, if you attached any document with your case, you can see all your documents here. All right. So if I if you want to see the documents, just click on this. Uh, PDF uh, image and you can see your uh, document. So right now there is no document, all right. And uh, if you have submit any court fee, just click on the court fee button and you can see your court fee. So there is no court fee on the behalf of this case. So th there is no detail. And after that, you can check your hearing details. If you have any hearing in this uh, in, in in the code so you can check your hearing details here all right so so this is the way you can check the cases i'm telling you about how a case move from one stage to another stage all right so still the software is loading and then I was telling you about the receiving registrar panel, all right? So I was I clicked here before I went to the receiving registrar panel, and uh, I, this is the way you can see your case. For example, if a case is moved from receiving registrar to registrar panel, so we can see into the registrar panel right see the the, uh, the same situation is same if old cases for process it is zero today cases for process it is zero it means that there is no cases on the date of today and after that it's pending for chief judge it means that there are two cases are pending for chief judge when registrar check the file and send it to the chief judge panel automatically the cases will move from to another panel and that is chief judge panel so registrar uh, two cases are still pending for the chief judge panel and the registrar will send it to uh, registrar will move it to chief judge panel okay and after that uh, it is cashier panel if there is any case on today to uh, old cases today cases old cases or today cases for process so the counting will be automatically 
increase if there is no cases so it is remain zero it is remain zero and same is here for the commissioner panel same is here for the index panel let's go on okay and uh, after that so these are the menus where you can see all your reports and case reports and supports of the software for example like uh, if i clicked on the report setup so uh, the menu will open like this here you can see all the details of all the panels like if i want to check the receiving registrar i'll click on this receiving registrar and it will appear like this right now in our e filing management system we have three receiving registrars all right and uh, these are the these are their staff ids and these are the registration number and these are the uh, names the email id mobile number contact number this is the way i can see all the receiving registrar here if i want to, i want to add a new receiving registrar so i need to click on the add new button and after that the screen will appear like this and i need to add a receiving registrar so first i need to give the receiving registrar staff id it would be like uh, receiving oblique clk oblique it's please give any unique number like this and after that surname might be let's say take sing and after that first name would be ram right and the gender is male and uh, date of birth is not mandatory but uh, we should pass the date of birth also like uh, the birth date of birth would be 27th of uh, let's take november uh 27th november mm, 27th november 1988 and after that address it is mandatory so i need to fill the address it would be 45 dash dfl dfl donawala road and uh, state is uh, delhi that state delhi All right and the mobile number is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it would be anything the mobile number is always unique and after that phone number is not mandatory just pass the email id it is mandatory it's rm ram at let's say gmail.com all right and after that password it's dot com and after that password password is uh, let's say ram ram singh one please confirm the password it's ram singh one and click on the add button and uh, after that once you clicked on add button uh, see here the message the receiving registrar has been added success successfully it means that uh the uh, the receiving registrar you just added it is add into the into your database all right so how to check just click on the back button and automatically you will go to your uh, receiving registrar panel all right and here you can see that the ram singh which i just added it is i can see here i can see him here so this is the way i, I can create a uh, receiving registrar and after that click on the registrar button when i click on the registrar button when i click on the registrar button it will take time so this is the registrar panel where 
only three registrars are entered right now. Okay, so these are their names, their email ID, mobile number, registration number, and staff ID. Uh, automatically, if I want to check the <coughs> more details, so I'll need to click on the staff ID, staff ID link button, and after that, I can see all the details of the registrar. Okay, these are all the registrar. And if I want to update any anything like uh, the surname is three, uh, if I remove three here and the first name is uh, uh, not first name, like uh, I would like to change the mobile number, it's uh, four five six seven. And when I click on the update button, automatically it will update. Uh, there must be one space character between words. Okay, between words. So let's take six. And when you click on the update button, uh, registrar details has been updated successfully. So like this, you can update your registrar. Right. So this is the reporting. So like this, you can see all the details of all the panels, right? So just close this tab and check the case report section, right? So case report section. Let's take the case for clerk, okay? And when I click on the case for clerk, I can see all the cases, all the cases of. Of these club, it means that like uh, this is the case number, and uh, this is the case number. This is the case suit number. After when once uh, receiving registrar registrar case, and when it go to the regist registrar, a case suit number has been created for every case. It end it is unique number. So this is the clerk name. The clerk who is filing case on behalf of you, criminal type, what kind of case it is, and after that, uh, the sub case type, and this is the case status. It is new case, the case is in running process, or the case is completed, or the case is uh, running. What 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 is the status of the case? You can see here. For example, like uh, uh, we have uh, these first four cases are. New, they are not uh, yet start started, but these are fresh cases. Cases, and the after that, these two cases are running, still running. Their hearing is uh, still going on, and after that, this is completed. Uh, the the judgment on this case is come down. All right, so that is why this case is completed. So uh, we uh, here we can see that this case is completed. So this is this this is the status, and this is the case number. When I click on this case number. I go into the new case details where I can see uh, the basic details of the case. Like this is the basic details, and after that, when I click on lower court details, I, these are the details and IP ID case details, and after the attachments, if there are any attachment with the case and court fee, and uh, the court fee hundred. Uh, Or uh, is uh, is already submitted and hearing it. Uh, there is no hearing it for the case because the case is new. It is still in process. So once uh, the first hearing uh, is started, uh, you we can see the hearing date here. All right. So just click on the back button. You can again come into the. right so like this you can see all the cases of all the clerks and after that case for registrar when i click on case for registrar this screen screen will appear and we can see 
we can see all the cases which are come into this registrar we can see here right these are the case numbers these are the case suit number these are the registrar number these are the case type sub case type and the case status all right like if i want to search uh, the case number let's say take the case number so the case number is uh, like uh, c r 829167 like uh, 829167 okay so let's take it and when i click on the search button let's see what what happen all right so when i when i click on the case number and i type the case number and when i click on the search button i got a case which is here and let's match the number it's cr829167 let's take here it's cr829167 so these are the searching details if i if i want to search any case uh, if if i don't have the case number i have the registrar name i can write the registrar name here and click on the search button for if i don't have the registrar name and case number so i can simply write uh, uh, give the case suit number if i don't have the first three uh, things then i'll type the simply case type what kind of case it is civil criminal petitioner or anything else let's take the criminal all right so when i click on the search button see what's happen it is uh, all right i have got it so this is the criminal case which is running so these are the searching criteria you can search by anything you want if you don't have a full detail you can write anything you have okay so these are the case for registrar panel and as you can see all the panels like here okay all right and this is the support section in support section if you have any complaint list just click on this button and you come you can see the screen for so suppose uh, the clerk panel it's if a clerk panel have any problem or any complaint they can send their complaint by their own panel and we can uh, the these number it is still zero right now this number will increase automatically like uh, we have uh, 10 clerk right now and if uh, any one of them like three clerk have any problem or any complaint so they will send their complaint from their own login panel and we can see here the counting complaints right so these are the complaint list and after that complaint resolved when i click on this button you can see the complaint resolved screen all right so if you click on the clerk just click on the drop down here you can see all the all the panels all the panels name uh, and if you have any complaint just click on that panel and just, just click on the search button okay but because we don't have any complaint right now so that is why there is no report found so like this we can see all the complaint uh, resolved how many complaints are resolved still now and how many uh, complaints are still waiting for the resolve right so these are the support panel and when you click on the password recovery uh, you can see here the two menus uh, first is forget uh, password request when i click on this button all right this is the screen for example a clerk uh, we have 10 clerks and one of them forget their password so they uh, can uh, apply for their new password request and when they apply for the request automatically the screen uh, counting is screen on in the front of clerk all right it is still zero when a clerk is applied for the forget password it will increase to 1 from 0 to 1 right and uh, when you click on the forget password report okay so this screen will appear 
and here uh, it is still same like support panel like we have seen in the complaint resolve right it is work uh, like that so these are the name of the panels when i click on the flood panel and click on the search button so it will uh, it will get me all the complaints for pass uh, for the password and uh, but still we don't have any complaint right now so that is why it is no report found it is showing no report found so this is for the admin panel and uh, we can tell you more about the admin panel in the next video right thank you